equal one. <laughs> a quick video today about the new Kentech module. Module. This is a 16 terminal defined where we can use input, output, or we can also use it for elevator control. This module come by bank of four. So it's 16 divided by four bank of four terminal. Now, each bank can be defined the way we want it. For example, we could set up bank one and two as input, bank three and four as output or we can set them input output and the rest for elevator control this module is compatible with kt400 kt400 revision one and kt100 yes i said kt100 so now with that new module we are able to use a kt100 for elevator control we are able to add to a KT100 more input or more output or both. Remember, this is a really programmable module. Let's take a closer look at that module. Here we're looking at that module and one thing we can see, there's a lot of things we can see, but one of them is lead. We have 16 lead one, by terminal for example if we're doing elevator control we can test right here we just swipe to the reader and see if the flow is enabled or disabled this module is 485 rs485 connection which means we have no more distance limit for example when we use an SPI module with a KT400, the SPI cannot go more than three feet from the controller. While this module, since it's connected RS485, we can go to 4,000 feet, which will be about 1,200 meters. Yes, 1,200 meters. So let's do a review. IO module, it's assigned by serial number. It's uh, if we use, if you have used before on IO meter, connected IS485, it will be the same principle. You will use the COM2 of the KT1 or the KT400 controller and connect that module, right? And we just said it's up to 4,000 feet, which is 1,200 meters, more or less. All right. And there is one, <laughs> there is one more thing. Um, we have four, four, right? We can use the third bank, which is terminal 9 to 12, as a bridge to connect SPI module. What that mean? That mean we can for example have a kt400 controller connect that io module with the distance we want i mean from one feet to four thousand feet and still able to connect spi relay module to the third bank and keep going with spi relay module Okay, now let's resume. We can use that with Entrapass version 8.10. So if you want either to install a 8.10 Entrapass, special corporate global, any Entrapass version 10, 8.10 or higher. That's the version you need or higher. 
this module can be used to add more input, more output, or as elevator control. Or the module, if you want. Let's take a look at the Entropass. Here I have my Entropass here. We go to Devices, Controller, Practical Look, right? Uh, let's see, KT1, for example. Before that version, we didn't have IO module. The KT1 don't have a SPI connector. Why we have an SPI there? Because once we set up the IO module, let me, let me, let's set up one. IO module will need the serial number. And now I have selection there. I can say what I want to use terminal one and four, one to four, which is the first bank, as either elevator control or as input or as relay. Right? So it's up to me. Terminal two. Let's say I want to use that as input. And it's giving me the option from 17 to 20. Let's say I want to use the third one as an SPI bridge. Doing that, now I can connect the module. Let me see here. I think I can show you here. Yes. For example, I have the IO module from 45 connected to COM2. And then... I can use the third terminal, right, the third bank and connect the SPI and I can add up to eight relay module here from the third bank. A lot of things we can be doing. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, I think that's clear enough. Now let me make an example with, I hope that's clear enough. KT400, I'm gonna add the NIO module on the KT400, right? Okay, uh -oh. all right. And I'm gonna say as elevator control, take a look. I'm gonna say my, that's let's say four elevator. I have four elevator or four floor each. I say the first one, floor one, two, four. The second one, elevator, that's gonna be the second one, one, two, four, etc. So what I'm doing, I have one project elevator control, four floor each, four elevator, and I can use one module. Well, it could be eight floor each, and in that case, I will need another module. But you have the idea. Without, we're not gonna forget, please, you want documentation, you go to the kentech.com, then you go to product, accessories, and you see input output module. And here, you have your input and output module. I go to documentation, I have manual, I have dashboard sheet, and you end up with that documentation here, where it's giving you, you know, all the details as well. For example, here I have connection 45, and I have, for example, using the first bank as input, I have supervised input, I even have a uh, motion detector or in wax. A lot of things. All right, Tim. <laughs> Thank you for your time, and I hope that help you guys. And remember the part number: KT dash MOD dash IO sixteen. Thank you. Thank you very much.